Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and welcome to the 12 Tajax of Christmas. I'm not even sure what episode this is. I think it's six or seven. It's when I bring you either tax projects or both or something different, but it all pertains to Christmas. Now in this episode, I'm really excited, you guys. Mm -hmm. Now, as I've mentioned before, I know that Santa Claus, Rudolph, Frosty, and even that old gingerbread man. <laughs> I'll be celebrating him at my gingerbread party. Well, they get all the glory. But the one who deserves the glory gets little to none. So in this video, I am bringing you my second set of his birth nativity style tags. And if you would like to give glory to the one whom glory is due, because after all, Jesus is the reason for the season. Well, you can join me in this endeavor and I will have what you can add in your um, title <laughs> right about now because I'm not sure what to call When you have completed your tags or project, whatever it is, leave a link in this video so I could check you out. Before I share with you my beautiful tags, let me quickly share the products that I used. I use these tag dies by Tattered Lace, these are their essential tags and you get a lot of dies. Tiny to very large. And you know what? I don't have the measurements, but I will be de-stashing a set like this. I have two sets. Along with another set within the next week or so. So be on the lookout for that video. Now, you guys, <laughs> I've never seen these next two dies used, and I never heard of this designer before. This die, it is beautiful. Actually, it's two dies that you get, and it's by uh, Sue Wilson. I think she's been around for maybe several years, but I have not seen any of her dies by any crafter. And I was looking for that special nativity die. And for me, you guys, this is it. This is gorgeous. Well, I'll have links to this die and the next die I'm going to show you. Also by Sue Wilson. I picked up this die. It says Christmas Blessings. It's just one die. Beautiful script, you guys. And I love the quality of her dies. Her dies are not those thin dies. Like some companies, you can actually bend the die. Her die is pretty thick. It reminds me of Spellbinders. And it's also the same color. I also use this ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby. This comes in this width. And also, I think it's a six inch width. I have that as well. And this comes in another color. I love this ribbon. Take a look at all the words on it, you guys. Prince of Peace, Bread of Life, Holy One, Savior, Son of God, Shepherd. All right, are you guys ready? I have to say, I believe these tags belong in, oh, the name of that magazine, Somerset. One of those type magazines. These came out gorgeous because I mixed the paper and the fabric together. And I love it. It has a shabby look to it. But you guys, this is what Christmas is all about. By the way, Christmas blessings to all of you. Take a look down here. That's gorgeous, you guys. Joseph is there. Mary is there. Baby Jesus is right there in the center. The stamp, let us adore him, would have been perfect for this tag. I think I might go back and add it in. But this is what it's all about. This is gorgeous. You can add this to a scrapbook page. You can... It's pretty big. You could slap this on a big card. <laughs> I'm going to hang it on my tabletop tag tree that I shared with you guys last week. But this is so gorgeous. This is the die. Christmas blessings right here. I could have adhered that down. But I wanted, I wanted that dimension. I wanted it to bunch up right there. And I like that. And here's an angel blowing the trumpet. Right? And I actually made this angel from a button. So it's now a capuchon. And up here, you see my curly ribbon, my secret. <laughs> it jazzes up any and everything. I absolutely love the frayed edges. 
Mm -hmm. I have another greatest craft find to share with you guys. <laughs> I might do it in January, but uh-huh. This fabric here, oh, I was blessed, you guys. I'll just say that. Totally blessed. But I love how this came out. The texture, the different texture. And then on the back, I added another fabric tag and it says this is my favorite Christmas um, sentiment it comes from a stamp it says the beauty of Christmas is not in the presence but in his presence so true so true and down here I have washi tape that says believe 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 in his birth okay so I made another one that's okay Similar to that one. Color is a little bit different. I have this angel on a pin. And then I have a word bead that says divine there. But everything else is pretty much the same. Except for this tag, I've backed it on black. And this one, I have a neutral color. But the back, okay. I have to go back and add something to cover up this part because I double stamped. And as you can see, I did not double stamp correctly. Okay, and so I made a smaller tag because with that Tattered Lace Essential set, I think you get 13 or 14 tag sizes. So I made this one here. And I love the texture. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. And you know what? I didn't add much. Because the message is in the ribbon. You see bread. You see part of shepherd there. You see son of man there. Prince of peace there. Savior there. So I didn't want to cover all that up. And then the back. Now on the back, this is the actual ribbon here. This side is a copy. And I have to say, I like my copies better than the actual ribbon. Okay, and so I made another one. Check out that one. This dye, it's perfect for silhouette. Look at that. Can you see the first family? Now, I did something different here. You see, it says Christmas. Mm -hmm. I just tucked in blessings there so Christmas can show. And I like that. Uh-huh, angel down here. And then on the back, that same fabric tag. And then I wanted to keep some tags just plain, like here. Because once again, the beauty is in the message on the ribbon. And so I have two of those tags are beautiful. They're dear to my heart because they really speak to what the real meaning of Christmas is all about. And I challenge all you crafters out there to use your time, your energy, your crafts, and give glory to the one whom glory is due by creating your very own His Birth Nativity style creations. I have another set that I will be bringing you guys that's totally different from these. <laughs> I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in and all your wonderful support by liking my videos. And by the way, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it. Feel free to adopt any of my ideas. I only ask that you link back to this video. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching. And as always, blessings.